So the new Spider-Man Wave is now up for pre-order. And I just want to know, what do you think? What do you think about these figures? Because if you go by some of these forums, people are people are losing their minds. Like I I'm like I'm I'm scratching my head. Because people are saying one, they thought this was gonna be a bath wave. And apparently it was hinted at in the in the live stream that this is gonna be a bath wave. Okay, I did I didn't catch that. Maybe I missed something, but okay. So that's one reason to be disappointed. Fair. Another reason why people are disappointed is because the lack of accessories. And I'm just like Honestly, I, I feel like Hasbro seems to focus on one of three things, or two of three things, of three things. I feel like they focus on the paint and sculpt, the articulation, and then the accessories. I feel like those are the three things that they fo that that are primary focuses, focus eye, focuses, <laughs> focuses. Uh, of the uh, uh, of their figures and so with these ones I feel like you're getting sculpt you're getting sculpt and paint you're getting um, articulation but you're not gonna get accessories they have to give they they they're constantly pulling away something and it's just like at this point as an outsider kind of looking in like a passive Marvel Legends collector I expect them to do this and I expect them to blame it on something I expect them to blame it on Disney and honestly they could cop out because Disney's not in good shape right now just <laughs> Disney's in terrible shape right now I think they might end up having to sell off Marvel or, or, or Lucasfilm because they're they're not doing well they're, it's, it's, Disney's not a healthy company right now it's a zombie it's a zombie corporation right now so I, if someone wants to say that the licensing fee, okay, but really, is it really the licensing fee? Is it really that? That's that, that is the reason why they cheap it out, or is it Hasbro being Hasbro? I don't know. You know, hit me up in the comments what your opinion is about that. But I wanted to focus on the figures because there's a couple, the three figures I really. I'm really down for like that rose figure I'm down for that I like the way that looks I like I like the presentation um, that Ben Riley yeah people talk about the head sculpt I've, I've heard a bunch of people talk about the head sculpt it doesn't but that one doesn't bother me I, I, I see where they're going they took a they took a one of those odd pictures where Spider-Man has basically a basketball head and the big eyes, which which if you've read enough Spider-Man comic books, you've seen that look before. That look they were going for, and they they have on, on on this figure. You've seen that look before. Don't act like you haven't. I've seen that look. We've all seen it. Now I want to I have to get it a little bit closer because I want to see if it actually still looks like a human face or it's just like a basketball with eyes. So I, I I'll, I'll dive in a little deeper on that one. But um, I and then the uh, tarantula looks cool. I don't like the fact that he has pins. He looks cool though, and you know if you want to build like like a lot of people talk about a rose gallery for spider-man this is this is a very important piece in there um and that spider woman i i like the way she looks as well her face seems a bit her head seems a bit big but you know that could be just photography because like hell spiral's head looked pretty good i'm looking at the spiral figure right now and in hand the head looks proportional to the body so yeah yeah the rest like that miles i feel like we're gonna have the um the uh, gi joe classified 
uh, situation where a lot of the figures had those vests on and it just completely crapped out the uh, upper body articulation I feel like we're gonna have that situation with miles I don't know we'll, we'll see we'll see how we'll, when people get it in hand we'll see what it looks what, what it poses like um the uh the chasm figure eh, pass <laughs> I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna waste any more time on that pass um but the pleasant surprise was the Electra Daredevil that looks really good oh crap that looks really good I mean like I, I, I said in my previous video I don't want to buy it on a sheer principle that I don't want to encourage this gender swapping and you know race swapping of characters I don't I don't encourage that like just keep the characters the way they are stop but this one looks good it looks really good if people buy this one in droves i would not be shocked at all because it is a really good figure it has like a lot of sculpting going on um the coloring and eh, we'll see but as good sculpting it looks like it might pose well and she's on brand with her two sides i mean it'd be nice if she had a sword it'd be nice if she had like you know something else <laughs> But she looks very on brand. But she looks very on brand. Um, but overall, I mean, I don't mind this wave because, as with always, for me, I pick and choose as I go. I, I'm not. I don't buy full waves. I've never built a bath before. I'm. I'm just not. That's not my. That's not my my thing. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments about this. Let me know if you're gonna get them all. Let me know if uh, you could care less. Let me know if this is disappointing. Let me know if, uh, you know, you're kind of like me. Like, you're in a pick and choose mode. You're going to pick one here, one there. Maybe wait for a sale, stuff like that. Um, but with that, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure you uh, check out the community tab. I do have all of these up on pre-order. So check out the uh, community tab. I'll even throw the uh, community tab. I'll throw the link up in the description if you feel like you want to uh, pre-order any of these figures. Um, also check out the Amazon affiliate link in the description. That's my Amazon affiliate link. All you have to do if you want to buy anything, just click on that and buy away. And Amazon will pay me a small commission. Doesn't cost you anything extra. And it's a great way to support the channel. And with that, be safe. Be good, and this is the Drunken Prime cracking open another beer and signing off.